What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got our first Adidas Numbers Up card to review and it is going to be Marco Asensio. He is the SBC player and he does actually look top tier. Even though he's got a three star weak foot, he still has got the four star skill moves and his stats with the right chem style does actually look really good. So he's got 86 pace, 91 dribbling, 82 shooting, 82 passing with a 64 physicals as well. If we are comparing this card to the gold card, we are looking at a plus four to pace, a plus eight to dribbling, a plus two to shooting, a plus one to passing, a plus one to defending and a plus two to physicals as well. So that 91 dribbling will eventually become 99 i believe it's actually in march the plus five upgrade is in uh january so yeah he's dribbling will eventually go up to 99 either way he's a six foot player with high medium work rates four star skill moves and a three star weak foot if we are looking at the chem style i have gone for the hunter chem style he's dribbling stats now being absolutely top tier let's say there's not really a point of even touching it like you might as well just give this guy the extra pace and you might as well give this guy the extra shooting stats with the hunter chem style if you really want to, you can go for Hawk Chem style to boost up the strength by an okay amount. But I'm going to be honest, I would rather just have the pace. So you are giving this guy 97 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, especially with the position that he is going to be playing in. He's going to need that pace and that pace is going to be more than enough. Now he's shooting ability. He's got 87 attacking positioning, 90 finishing, 93 shot power, 85 long shots, 96 volleys with the 74 penalties as well. Shoot Shooting ability looks incredible. Has he got a shooting trait? Unfortunately, he does not. I feel like this guy deserves like a finesse shot trait, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Now, his passing ability is looking okay, I must admit. Like 82 vision, 82 crossing, 77 free accuracy, 82 short passing, 81 long passing with the 85 curve. It's, it's looking quite nice, you know. It's not looking anything crazy, let's say, like a Bruno Fernandes kind of passing, but it's looking quite average. Now, his dribbling ability, as I said, it's been increased by a plus eight. The dribbling stat now look absolutely unbelievable. The only stat I'm worried for is the balance. I don't want to be seeing this guy do any falling over animation. And with 82 balance, he might do it time to time. Now, his physicals, 78 stamina. You know what I mean? It's a little bit meh, but it's something we have to deal with. The strength being 65, I guess it is what it is at the end of the day. And he has got 46 aggression as well. So for me personally, I'm going to try to avoid those contact contact situations but obviously if we get him into it we can't do much can we because he's most likely going to get pushed off the ball with the strength he actually has now the links with this guy spanish real madrid aka la liga the links are absolutely amazing right and i've got my hero card morientes just to get him on full chemistry now the positions i am going to be playing asensio in two positions i'm going to be playing this guy in a striker position and i'm also going to be playing this guy down the line as well so let's get into the games get past him here there you go pass it into the inside now asensio there is just waiting he uses his pace to easily get past that defender and what a strike that is and what a way to start off the review just pass it into the middle i didn't really need to export that to be fair see if i can maybe go for a few turns here i do definitely want to go for a long shot and we're gonna get it it's gonna be green and it looks like it was gonna go in but it ends up hitting a crossbar it's an amazing shot the animation he got himself into as well that's questionable for my opponent but yeah the animation he got himself into as well was absolutely amazing the shot power looked good it's just the accuracy wasn't picky get there bro get there i'm actually gonna smack this back stick is this essential it is gonna be essential so, for some odd reason he's tried a bicycle kick and it's flew over the crossbar i was gonna try to time it but it was kind of too late to me to do it. So we just gave it a go. I'm just going to ball roll this. Then pass it into the inside. I thought he was going to cut back. But he eventually gets onto the ball. Nice dribbles. Well played. Nice. Go for that shot. Okay. Yeah, I would pause it if I was him as well. That should not be going in. No shot that should be going in. But we'll take the goal. Can't I? Give that to Morientes. Give it down to Asensio. Go for that fake shot. Well put. No, that was meant to be a ball roll. Look how he feels on the ball, by the way. You see every single touch he's actually taking is so, so precise. I tried to see if I can maybe just left stick dribble my way through that gap, but it didn't work out. But you can just see how good he actually feels. Hit that line. Back into the middle. Well played. I'm just going to ball roll this because I see an LBY opportunity all the way over. And it's going to be a perfect pass over to Carrasco. Back here, play that. Nice. Go for a dummy there. There you go. Essentially, I'm just going to trust in that pace, bro. Referee. 
referee sought him out. The pace there was really nice. You can clearly see that he's a person that is going to get in behind quite easily. The only way of him stopping me there was literally taking me out. Passes it to the edge of the box because Asensio is just chilling there. I'm going to see if we can go for this shot. I tried it at a very, very tight angle. I did put a lot of power into it. I must admit, and I did obviously mistime it. So I guess it's my fault. I kind of ended up missing that. We'll roll that. Pass to the edge of the box. I do see you, Asensio. I'm going to see if I can just turn him. Go for that fake shot. Smack it towards a near post. It wasn't like a great angle for a shot. But I like his positioning there. He wasn't like over committing. He did actually come short into the space and give me that passing option. I'm just going to pass short of this corner. Is he edge here? No, that's N'Golo Kante. He's actually all the way to the other side. Let's see if we can maybe flick this over. Oh my God, smack it. It has to be smacked. It was with, with his weaker foot. So... As soon as I saw him take it with his weaker foot, I didn't think he was going to go anywhere near the goal. So I'm happy he was just on target, to be fair. RBA, through the gap. See if I can just use that pace to easily get past him. And look how quick he actually is. I trusted into that. Oh my God. I looked away for literally two seconds and somehow we got the ball back. I literally have no idea. Was that a touch or was that a pass? I feel sorry either way, but we'll take the goal. Can I use that pace again? Yes, I can. I'm going to cut into the inside this time. We're going to go for a green time finish shot. And oh my God. I mean, his long shots aren't bad. His shot power isn't bad. So I guess he's going to be able to do those kind of stuff. See if I can maybe play this perfect wide ball. Asensio, are you in? Yes, you are. I'm going to trust in that weaker foot. I literally aimed it, by the way, all the way to the other side. And it's pretty much going to go straight down the middle. And that's that inconsistency with the weaker foot. You're going to get the power, but you're not going to get the accuracy every time. Double weigh that if possible. Asensio. Fake shot that. La Coqueta round him. Oh my god, wait for him to come towards you. I tried to heal the hill. It actually went through his legs, by the way. And we got ourselves a penalty. All right, come on. Let's see if we can place this top bins. And hopefully we can do it quickly. So this guy doesn't, you know, notice the head movement, let's say. Oh, no, we have to change kick taker. Okay, it might, this might end bad. Left foot, he's only got 74 penalties, which obviously isn't the greatest, but I'm hoping he's definitely noticed the head movement, hasn't he? He 100% has. Please don't save it. Green top. Ooh, he literally went right into the corner. We greened it. We scored. This guy's paused. And he's quit. <laughs> I like how he actually comes short here, by the way. Like, this is still him playing in a striker position. And he actually comes feet a good amount of times. And I tried to play him the ball there. And I did not main, mean to play it there, but it's fine. I could have shot that. But I feel like going around the player. And that is me completely screwing up that opportunity. Play that ball over to N'Golo Kante for some odd reason. Kante's making it. I'm not going to trust him, by the way. But Asensio, he's made a good run. He's moved the keeper. I'm going to have to trust into that weaker foot. And we do score that opportunity. With those kind of opportunities, a three-star weak foot should be more than enough to make that ball go into the back of the net. N'Golo turn out. There you go. Give it to Asensio here. I'm going to go for this pass because Carrasco could easily, easily get in behind here, which he has done. It's just that touch has let him down. But a good pass from Asensio once again, man. Give him the ball. Turn out again. What a touch that is, by the way. I'm going to cancel this. Fake shot. Look at around him. I'm going to go for the sweat, and it's going to be a beauty of an assist. I'm telling you, like, the dribbling with how he feels with the skill moves, it feels really, really nice. And we get ourselves another rage quit. Win it. There you go. I'm just going to play it down the line. Hopefully, Asensio can just use that pace. I could go for a cross here, but I'm just going to believe in him. To beat that player for pace, we ball roll the keeper and we end up scoring a goal. I'm telling you, the Hunter Kem style is the way to go. The pace on this guy is unbelievable. I like I'm going to turn. Fake shot that. Like a cat around him. That's beautiful, by the way. Keep going. Go for maybe a skill run. We're just going to go for the cross goal finish and the keeper is going to put out an amazing save. Turn him and go low. What a touch and turn that is. Play that double Y. Take a touch around him. Shot cancel this. Shot cancel that. No. Oh, come on. I was trying to create the angle to see if we could actually go to finish there. But this guy's paused it. He's not going to quit, is he? Nah, he's not going to quit. But we could have scored a goal there, man. I kind of just took too long to shoot the ball. Sensei is just giving me that passing option there. I do want to go for a wide ball, but I'm actually going to keep it quite central. He does make that run, which is really well played. Just go round him. No. Please. I'm actually going to go for it. Nah, I've screwed it up. I've screwed up. I like the aggressive run. He noticed where the space was and he just ran into it, which is something I'm definitely expecting from my cam. It's just I've completely, completely screwed up that opportunity. Go on, Carrasco. Keep running. Asensio, bro, where are you? You're meant to be my cam and he's trying to make a run inside the box. Is he eventually going to come short? 
He doesn't even rotate back into position. I'm going to see if I can just give him the ball here. There you go. It could have been... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If we somehow squeeze the goal out of that, I really wouldn't know what to say. Maybe we can? Scoop turn that. Nah, I just couldn't get the last turn there. So it is time to review and we ended up playing five games with Marco Asensio. We actually walked away with seven goals and we also got ourselves a single assist as well. He was not a bad player, not a bad player at all. He actually was really nice to use that. His dribbling ability was nice, his pace was nice, the shooting on the left foot was really, really good as well. Now the thing is, right, I told you guys I was using this guy in two different positions at the start. Well, I actually used him in three. I also tried him in a cam position just to see how good he was actually going to play there. He is definitely an aggressive cam he likes to run forward a good good amount of times but the one thing that i thought wasn't going to be anything amazing there was the passing ability and it definitely wasn't like the passing on that weaker foot was an issue if you're trying to go for like a long pass with the weaker foot you might want to just keep it simple just go for those short passes even with the stronger foot it was very inconsistent there was times that it would make the pass like all the way to my my uh my winger but then there was other times it would just go cl too close to the defender and then they'll just end up getting the ball so for me, I don't believe he is a cam. If you want to play him there, go ahead and do it. Just know his passing ability isn't going to be top tier. But for me, he is a winger. This guy with the 100 chem style, with his pace running down that line, incredible. Straight up incredible. The way he was beating players for fun out there with his pace was amazing to see. He felt good on the ball, even though we haven't even touched his dribbling ability. And his shooting ability on the left foot was an absolute bullet of a shot. And this is the thing, right? If you want to play this guy in a right wing position or a ram position, let's say, in a 4-2-3-1, what you can do with him is not just run down the line with his pace. You can cut onto that left foot and you can go for those finesse shots. You saw me do one and it flew into the back of the net. Like, we have to keep in mind, he's got 85 long shots. He's got 93 shot power. He's going to be able to do those kind of stuff. So, yeah. For me, a right wing position is the way to go with this Marco Asensio card. Either way, do I believe he is worth the 48k he is currently going for? It's a tough one to say. It really is simply because it's a nice card and the pricing isn't bad. It really isn't. It's just we have to understand that we've got a player that plays in the exact same position in the exact same league with actually better links. And it's going to be your boy Dembele. And he's going for like 7,000 coins. So I don't believe this Marco Asensio card is actually worth the 48k, but it isn't terrible pricing. It's just because you can get a Dembele card for literally 8,000 coins, why would you go get a Marco Asensio card that is four-star skill moves and three-star weak foot when you can get a Dembele that is five-star, five-star? That is the issue with this SBC. The strength and aggression, by the way, it was okay. I wasn't really a, like a big fan of it because he wasn't a player that could obviously back into someone and hold him off for a long time. No, they'll just slide, like, slide straight through him and we also have to keep in mind his stamina isn't anything special as well so yeah 48k is not bad pricing but i don't believe it's worth it because of dembele's price now do i believe he is a card that goes into that eighth attacking tier oh no i don't i feel like Marco Asensio is definitely a B tier player for me. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace